Hello everyone and welcome to Photo Finds. I'm your host Gavin Hatch. This week we are doing a time hop episode uh, for the month of February. We're going to go back and look at 2012, 13, 14, and 16 and what was going on in the parks during this time those years. And we're going to skip over 2015 just because there was no Photo Finds at this time because we were going through a transition phase from host to host. So uh, Nick Russo had left the show and I was taking over and I took over March 10th. So my anniversary is actually coming up, which is pretty exciting. But we are not going to cover 2015 in this week's, or I should say this month's time hop, but let's start over at 2012. It was this time in 2012 that Habit Heroes opened up over at Innoventions East at Epcot. Now, this exhibit was created by Blue Cross Blue Shield, and it was really fun. I never got to see the first version of it because it did close within three weeks and reopened, and I was able to play the second version and experience that and I, I loved it. It was really cool. But the first version I never got to see firsthand and it shut down because when this opened up, the whole premise was you are defeating and fighting bad habits. Habits that create you to, to gain weight, unhealthy weight, and to just not be healthy in general. And I guess a lot of experts in the field of body imagery and, um, and doctors, they all kind of came to Disney and said this is something that's kind of offensive it's it's not you shouldn't be uh, I guess the, the bad habits were are were villains uh, actual people or characters and you were shooting these these characters that represented these bad habits that you shouldn't have and I guess it just was somehow offensive so it, it quickly closed it opened up um, February 2nd or 4th I believe and then it shut down on the 23rd of February so it was not open for very long and then they went through a major remodel and uh, the, the actual structure of the building and the, the exhibit stayed the same but the it was more like the images on the screens and the characters and all that stuff was switched over and changed. Now, if you got to experience both versions, please, if you're watching this on YouTube, comment below and let me know what your thoughts are and what the differences were. Um, the pictures we're seeing here, again, are of the first version uh, and it, it did change quite a bit afterwards, but I never got to experience that. So it's, it's something that's really interesting and it doesn't happen a lot. You don't see a lot of attractions open and close really quickly like that. Now over at Universal Orlando and City Walk, the Hollywood Drive-In Golf was still under construction but coming along and I love looking at pictures like this and seeing how it looked. I remember seeing this every day coming in and out of work and watching it progress. So it's really cool to see these photos here. Uh, but this is a really fun experience. I love the Hollywood Drive-In Golf. Yeah, it's a little pricey, uh, but it is something that's neat because it does have two separate courses. The theming is really great and it's really fun to do at night. And after you are done playing golf, you can go see a movie you can go get some good food or just do it in a different order but it's a I love city walk it's a really a great place also at Universal Orlando in 2012, they introduced the celebration buttons. Now this is something that Disney had been doing for years before, uh, but Universal did start doing birthday and celebration buttons. I believe the birthday buttons came first and celebration buttons came after, but these are still something that you can pick up at guest services from time to time if available, or I believe even in some of the stores, such as the trading company store Islands Adventure, or at the Universal Studio store when you enter the park at the studios. Let's jump to 2013 over at Disney Springs, what was Disney, or Downtown Disney I should say, uh, the marketplace section. You can see that the, the old seafood restaurant that was kind of extended out onto the water there, that is completely gone now and it's so interesting to see how that was there and it was, I mean, 2013 was not that long ago. Also there was the boat dock that took you on the ferry boats and then there was also the Rainforest Cafe which is still there but it's gone through a major refurbishment and expansion and they've added the lava lounge and you can see here the volcano Kino was going through some refurb. They had not added the, the fire effects to it yet, but we're in the process of doing so. And the Rainforest Cafe logo had not been put back on the side of the volcano. So this is, again, interesting to look at just because it wasn't that long ago, but it looks so different today. Now, while at Downtown Disney, Kevin Yee, who took these photos, was in the World of Disney store. He snapped this picture, um, which you can see this uh, beautiful painting. Um, it has Daisy as the Statue of Liberty in New York City, and you can see the Twin Towers and the New York skyline behind her. Now, this is, again, this is in 2013, uh, so it had been over 10 years since the 9-11 attacks, but they were still there, and I, I want, I hope they're still there. I want to know if they are. Um, if you off the top of your head know that these are still there or if they have been removed or repaint something has been painted over uh, comment below on the comments on YouTube and I'm gonna go 
see for myself on my next visit to Disney Springs. I'm going to go to the World of Disney and look for this and see if it is still there. I hope it is. This is really beautiful, and uh, but you never know. It's Disney changes things over so much. Now let's jump to 2014. You can see the long lines for Fast Pass Plus kiosks um, at all the parks, but here we have Epcot and also Tomorrowland. And this is something you really don't see anymore now since everything has gone digital and you can do everything from your phone or I guess services at the front of the park. But when Fast Pass Plus was still rolling out and very new and confusing a lot of people of how this system worked. You had these long lines and I'm sure a lot of you remember what this was like to stand in to go ahead and just make those three fast pass selections and have to come back for more. And at some point, at one point you couldn't do more than three a day. So it's, it's definitely advanced and gotten better over the years. And of course now all the other parks in the area are testing new technology that's going to be similar to this, if not better. And it's just, it's really exciting to see how things have advanced so quickly and are getting better. And over at Universal Orlando and City Walk, the Margaritaville restaurant, the porch was being expanded. Uh, this offers some great outdoor seating, especially when the weather's nice outside and they have live music. So if you haven't been here to eat, I recommend it. But Margaritaville is uh, growing here in Orlando. They have that huge resort being built right now over in Kissimmee near Disney. So I cannot wait to see that finished product, that's for sure. And over in Universal Studios Florida, you can see that Diagon Alley or the London area uh, of phase two of Harry Potter was really coming along. And I love seeing these pictures again, just because I, it's really interesting to be able to see this uh, now and know that it's completely done and it just, it, time flies when you're having fun, that's for sure. And I loved watching this in person every day at work, seeing this get built and, and really grow. And these pictures just, it's, it's really neat, it's nostalgic. All right, so we're going to jump to 2016 because like I said, 2015, there was no photo finds going on in February of that year because we were in transition phase with Nick Russo leaving the show and me coming in at the beginning of March. But in 2016, this I should say this week last year, uh, it was announced that the Nickelodeon Suites Hotel was not being shut down, but it was re, re, being rethemed and all the Nickelodeon theming elements around the resort were being removed. So the licensing for Nickelodeon, I guess they just holiday in and them did not want to go ahead and have a partnership going forward. So they went ahead and decided over the course of the month, I believe they finished the transitions in April. So everything Nickelodeon related was removed by the end of April. Uh, but you can see these are just some photos from years ago of the resort in, in its prime. And just, I never got to experience and stay there. Um, but I know a lot of people who did and I know a lot of people that worked there and it was a I've heard it was a really fun thing and really cool and well done So it's something I wish I could have experienced, but I never did uh, But looking at these pictures, it looks like it was a ton of fun and uh, I definitely miss seeing Nickelodeon really here in the Orlando area I know we still have some of the characters in Universal Studios But it's not like it was back in the 90s and of course in the early 2000s when we had the Nickelodeon Suites Hotel now, what I want to know is, where is this time capsule? Is it still there? Is it gone? Where did it go? I, I, I don't think I've seen any literature about where it ended up, uh, but I remember reading that it was going to be probably taken to Burbank to their studios or the headquarters of Nickelodeon, which is owned by Viacom. And uh, I don't know. If you know in the comments below here on YouTube, comment and let me know where is the Nickelodeon time capsule, because I can't wait to be there on opening day. Well, that will do it for this edition of Photo Finds. I hope all of you enjoyed this month's time hop. I'm a nostalgic person, so you'll have to excuse me. I love looking at old photos, uh, uh, pictures of things not too long ago because it's just crazy how things have changed so quickly and it's just it's a lot of fun for me to do and I hope you guys enjoy it as well but make sure you subscribe to Attractions Magazine and until next week make sure you guys get out you have fun and you enjoy those parks <laughs>